Hey everybody, welcome to Messy Meisters. I'm Miss Erin. And I'm Miss Amanda. And we are the early childhood <laughs> educators of the Main Street Children's Museum. We're so excited that you're joining us this morning here on Facebook Live. Um, and part of what we love about Facebook Live is that you all can interact with us here through the comments. We know we can't see you in person and that bums us out, mm -hmm. but at least we can still talk to you. Uh, we have Miss Christy here who's going to be keeping an eye on the comments. So please make sure to say hi to us, drop a comment, yeah. question, um, maybe before your hands get a little messy. And then we'll be sure to take some time at the end um, to address the questions that you have. Okay? All right. And so now I'm just going to talk a little bit about how Messy Maestros works as a program. The whole intention behind this program is um, process art. So it's not about the product. It's about the materials and experimenting with them. And our hands are going to get a little dirty, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. And what we all make is going to look totally different. What I make is going to look totally different from what Miss Amanda makes, okay. and I know it's going to look different from what you're making at home. Um, Miss Amanda and I will be modeling some potential questions that caregivers you could be asking your little ones, but we know that you'll have some great questions that you'll ask them as well. That's right. And we're curious to hear about the different ways that you choose to use the materials. All right, so Miss Amanda, are you ready for our Hello Friend song? I am. So, friends and families, this is a song that we did for our We Wednesday programming. So those of you who joined us for that, you probably already know how to make the movements for this. But for our friends who are joining us and don't know, we use American Sign Language. So to say how what, we're going to put our hand up here and make a salute. And then for friends, you're going to hold out both of your pointer fingers and you're going to make them hug. For time, we're going to tap our wrist, or maybe you have a watch, you can tap your watch, to say hello. All right, so here we go, Miss Erin. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. I love that. That brings back so many wonderful memories. So, you picked up a kit that looks just like this. Now, we've already had session three, so we're going to be looking at what's left of our materials for session four. So, you should have a bag just like this that says session four, and you should also have a poem in there. And the title of our poem is Invitation, and it's got a cute picture of a door. So I'm going to put my bag down here, and we just want to make sure that you've got all of your items in your bag. So you should have a knee-high stocking. What? What? You should have some paint that is taped together. Mine has some beans stuck in it, but that's okay. We're going to take care of that. And then you should have a lovely bag of beans. Woohoo! All right. So, as you are setting things up, a couple of things Miss Erin and I thought would be useful tips when we were practicing this together ourselves. We have taped our paper down. So, you can either tape your paper down. If you're outside, you might want to put some rocks at the corners. Or, boys and girls, you could just stand on your paper as you do this. You've got lots of choices. So make sure you've got something to clean up your hands. That might be a bowl of water. That might be some wet washcloths or some wipes or paper towels. And make sure you've got something to put your paint in. We're going to be using our little trays again. And make sure you've got a plate or something to put your plate in. So as you are getting things ready, Ms. Erin and I are very excited. We have a new song for you. Okay? It's called Do As I'm Doing. All right, so we're going to start off by clapping. Here we go. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it hard, if I do it low, if I do it fast, if I do Slow. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow. 
much boys and girls. You ready, Miss Erin? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high, if I do it low, if I do it fast, if I do it slow. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Whew. Okay, boys and girls, now that we've got our blood pumping to our brains, we're all awake, our muscles are ready to go. Miss Erin, how do we get started today? Whew. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm, I'm, good. I'm ready to get messy, do some audit. All right. So first, we're going to take that knee high, okay, and stretch it out a little bit, you know. All right. Get a little stretch in. Oh, I'm going to let my fly across the room. <laughs> and then we're going to fill it up with some green. Okay. So caregivers, you could have um, your little one with you hold open. Mm -hmm. the knee That's high a great idea. Of these. Or you could pour it, hold it open for them while they put in the beans by the handful. Yeah. Um, but something I recommend everyone does is listen to the beans and feel the beans as you okay. put them in. Because they make a really pretty sound. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what this reminds me of. I had heard this sound before, but I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It reminds me of something I've heard before. I'm going to keep thinking on that. Hmm. How many beans do you think we're putting in here? Oh, goodness. Let's just say a billion boys and girls. <laughs> so that's a safe bet. No, I'm just kidding. There's definitely, there's got to be a hundred. There's got to be ten tens worth of beans in here. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm going to try. I think I'm going to shove my bag into my bean, my knee high. I wonder if I can shake them in this way. Success! Oh, I learned a new way to do something today, boys and girls. All right. All right. I didn't put all quite all my beans in, okay. but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. So now, once you have all the beans there, in your knee high, you can tie a knot just okay. to make sure that those beans stay in. Yep, I got my knot. This really is like a yo yo, Miss Erin. Yeah, up and down. Huh. So, this is called yo yo painting. And before we start using our paint, I recommend just practicing a little bit. That sounds great. Okay, okay. try holding together. it at the end okay. or in the middle, dropping it on your paper. Hmm, look at that. All right, I'm going to switch to my left hand because I'm not usually good with stuff with my left hand. So I was using my right hand today. Yeah, I left hand. All right. That makes great noise. I love it. All right. <laughs> okay, so once you've gotten a little practice in with your yo yo, you can try pouring some paint out into the okay. plate or tray, whatever you have. Um, I think I'm going to try this color first. Okay. Mine's in black, Miss Amanda. Oh, are you doing? You have this. <laughs> Boys and girls, we have the same color today. We are matchy matchy. All right. All right. I'm gonna have to use my finger because it's not gonna come out. I'm gonna use my finger. Okay. All righty. Okay, I have my paint out, Miss Erin. All right, me too. Okay. Now we're gonna pick up the knee high. Okay. Dip it in the paint. All right. So I'm gonna. Like that? Yup. Okay. Pick it up. Uh huh. And then drop it on your paper. <gasps> it's so pretty. Boys and girls, mine looks like flowers. Now that one looks like a turtle's back. Like the shell. Can I do more paint, Miss Erin? Oh, can I add more paint? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do so more mine, paint. You can see all the individual beans a lot more than yours. I don't know. That's so cool. But you know, we talked about this. They're gonna be different. Okay. 
All right, so boys and girls, something else you can do once you've made a couple of marks with this one card is you can go ahead and you can add your second color to your plate or your tray. And how you decide to add the second color is up to you. So some ideas are, you can add it on top of the color you already did. You can put it beside the color you already did, or you can put it kind of further away. I think I'm gonna do mine beside my color. I'm gonna do mine on top. On that, top? That sounds really fun. Okay, cool. So we're gonna, we're gonna test it out too, boys and girls. Miss Erin and I are being brave and testing new stuff. All right, so let me clean my paint off. All right, so let's see what this other color does to our artwork today. All right, so I'm gonna drop it in. And then... This is so pretty. Who knew, right, boys and girls? All right, now, I've been holding mine at the knot. So this time, I'm gonna hold it a little bit closer to the beans. I'm going to drop it into both colors, all right, and now I'm going to drop it onto my artwork. Super cool. Now it just looks like a giant bouquet of flowers or candy poops. I don't know. What does it look like to y'all? Maybe we can have some friends put some comments in, um, in our Facebook feed and tell us what it looks like to you. So we held it closer. Another thing you can do, boys and girls, is you can change the speed with which you are dipping. Okay, so I kind of shoved mine down on the paint. Now I'm going to go fast. I am loving this noise. This is awesome. Some drops are coming out. Woo! Okay, so there are probably some really neat things that you have been inspired to do at home that Miss Erin and I would never think of. Put those in the comments. That way Miss Christy can read those to us later and we can try them too. That would be so exciting. All right, so one last thing that we can do is we can change the amount of beans. So we're changing the weight that is in our yo-yo paint. So I am going to undo my knot. Undo my knot. Oh, yes, Miss Christy. Oh, very cool. So maybe depending on the paint that we decide, maybe our paint colors. I'm thinking flowers because that's just like, that's what it looks like to me. But Miss Bridget, that's a wonderful idea. Thank you for that. We have another question. Okay. What color paint are you using in case I want to try it again more? We are just using regular acrylic paint, uh, tempera paint. You could really use any kind. It would be interesting to know how this changes if you use maybe a thicker paint versus a paint maybe more watered down. Or maybe you bought some liquid watercolors. Does this work with liquid watercolors? Or our chalk paint from the other session. So I feel like it would be interesting to try that. What do you think, Miss Erin? I think that'd be a great idea. It'd be interesting to see if the knee high would soak up a thinner paint yeah. or not. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna keep taking out, I think this is the last bit of beans I'm gonna take out. I just wanna see what happens here. All right, those are great comments and suggestions. Good questions. We love hearing your ideas because the more brains we have thinking about things, the better things are. All right. So Miss Erin, as we're kind of finishing working up here, and we talked about some some extra things we can do with our paint, some ideas to kind of expand this. And don't forget, caregivers, to talk to your kids about this. Ask them what they notice and just kind of get their thoughts as they're working through this. Um, I know that Miss Erin has a, a really awesome poem for us today by one of my favorite poets, Shel Silverstein, where the sidewalk ends was a book that I read over and over and over <laughs> again. And that's a collection of his poems. So what poem are we reading today, Miss Erin? 
resuming the poem called Invitation by okay. Shel Silverstein. And I actually got a little paint on it, but that's all good. Yeah, right? that's okay. <laughs> yes, that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to read it once by myself, and then Miss Amanda will join me in a second time, and I hope you all join me at home as well. Yeah. Okay. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you are a pretender, come sit by my fire. For we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in. Come in. Sweet. I did it. <laughs> All right. So we'll do that one more time. Okay. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire. For we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in. Come in. What a great poem. I love that. All right. So, Miss Erin, thank you so much for reading that poem for us. And we just hope you enjoyed this activity today, families, and our poem and our song. We hope that it's something that will maybe inspire you to maybe do some extra things today. Maybe you'll find a song or a poem that you remember from when you were little and share that with your kids. So we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up for future Missy Maestro sessions. Remember, they're every Thursday at 1030 right here on Facebook Live. And we are going to have a survey pinned to our Facebook session today. And we encourage you to fill that out. And that way we can just get better and better. And that's what we want to do for you. Also, let us know in the comments how the video and the audio was today. We're constantly making improvements on that. So we want to know how it was from your end. All right. So remember that signing up for hit three which is sessions five and six, ends tomorrow, July 24th. So don't forget to go on our Shopify account. Remember, you can get there by going to chmuseums.org, click on Education, Summer Programs, and then scroll all the way down, and you'll see a link for those kits. Also, kit number four for session seven and eight is also available for purchase. So keep an eyeball out for those, and we hope you are going to buy those kits and join us for Messy Maestros in the future. Also, we wanted to let you know that CH Museums isn't just Maester Children's Museum. It's also Historic Brattonsville and the Museum of York County and our Historical Center. On Tuesdays, Historic Brattonsville has a Facebook Live program at 1030 called Time Travel Tuesdays. You go back in time, and it's really, really informative and unique to see how they lived back then. On Wednesdays, there are wonderful Wednesdays at the Museum of York County, also on Facebook, sorry, Zoom. Those are Zoom, um, <laughs> which you can easily sign up for and, and log into. Um, but on Wednesdays, the Museum of York County has wonderful Wednesdays. And yesterday, I believe, was on reptiles and amphibians. We had Mr. Ken talking to us about that. So that was really, really neat to learn about the animals around us. All right. So it's time for any questions or comments that our friends and family have. Ms. Christy, is there anybody else that has mentioned anything? Um, Ms. Kate wanted to comment um, about how helpful it was for the close-up. Oh, great. Yay! We're really glad that you like that. We weren't sure how that was going to come across, right, Ms. Erin? No, we're glad that it worked out because yes. we're learning all about this new technology and everything. So we're glad that. Yay! That's wonderful. And Ms. Christy wondered could you do the activity with the new song that you taught us? I am sure you could, and I'm glad that Miss Christy brought that up in her comments. That song is a great song to let your child be the leader. So once you've practiced it a couple of times and you feel pretty good with the lyrics, let your child choose the motion, and you don't have to just go high, low, fast, slow. You could maybe go left and right. Maybe you could go forward, and then you could turn around and do it backwards. Good job. Yeah. There's so many things you could do. There are so many things. So anything 
tool that we use, y'all have an idea, use your imagination and enjoy time with your child. That's a great question. Thank you. Okay, maybe everybody's just so busy doing their art, they don't have time to type, which is maybe fantastic, by the way. Do we have one more question? Sure. Could you possibly give a hint or a clue as to next week's activity? Okay, I'll let Miss Erin decide how much of that she wants to give away. <laughs> well, I would say the theme is going to be printing. Yes, yes. And we are very excited for what is going to be in your kit. I'm pretty sure that families, you have not, I'm betting you haven't used these materials before. So we're very excited to have these in your kit. For Remember, kit number three, that's for sessions five and six, and it ends tomorrow. So make sure you go online and sign up for that. All right, Ms. Kristen, we have anything else? No. Okay, well, Ms. Erin, I really enjoyed this activity with you today. This is so much fun, and we hope that y'all have as well. Now, a song that we did to end our Wee Wednesday sessions was Goodbye Friends. And it has very similar movements to Hello Friends, except that goodbye, you hold your hand up, and you just close it. We still let our friends hug. It's time to say goodbye. All right, well, I guess our time here is done today. So, Ms. Erin, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.